Hello, math adventurers. It's seen over Leah here, stepping out from the pages of history to challenge your perception of reality. I'm famous, or perhaps notorious, for my paradoxes that have puzzled, infuriated, and fascinated philosophers and mathematicians for over two millennia. Are you ready to have your mind stretched and twisted in ways you never thought possible? Let's delve into the enigmatic world of my paradoxes that question the very nature of time, space, motion, and infinity. I have formulated several paradoxes, but four are particularly noteworthy. Dichotomy, Achilles and the Tortoise, Arrow, and the Stadium. Each of these paradoxes reveals the paradoxical nature of motion and change. Allow me, Zeno of Elia, to take you on a journey through my paradoxes. Picture a runner, eager to reach his destination. But before he can get there, he must first get halfway. And before he can get halfway, he must get halfway to the halfway point, and so on. This infinite subdivision suggests that he can never begin his journey. This is not just about the runner. It's about any motion or change. Does not every change require an infinite number of steps? If so, how does change occur? Now, imagine a race between swift Achilles and a slow tortoise. Given a head start, the tortoise is ahead of Achilles. When Achilles reaches the tortoise's starting point, the tortoise has moved a little further. This repeats indefinitely. Despite his speed, Achilles never seems to pass the tortoise. This paradox questions the nature of infinite series and their sums. Consider an arrow in flight. At any instant, the arrow is not moving to where it is because it's already there. It's also not moving to where it's not because it can't be in two places at once. So, at every instant of time, the arrow is at rest. If time is composed of these instants, then the arrow is always at rest, suggesting motion is an illusion. This challenges the common understanding of movement. Let's venture into the stadium paradox. Picture two perfectly aligned rows of soldiers marching in opposite directions. Now, introduce a third row sandwiched in between, with twice as many soldiers marching at double the speed. Your intuition tells you that each soldier from the outer rows should pass exactly two soldiers from the middle row, considering their double speed. However, this is where the paradox stuns us. Paradoxically, it appears that each soldier from the outer rows passes all the soldiers in the middle row. The stadium paradox thus challenges our very understanding of motion and infinity. It's a brain teaser that takes you on an unexpected journey of logical gymnastics. Each paradox presents a unique challenge to our understanding of motion, space, time, and infinity. While they might seem counterintuitive, they expose the subtle complexities inherent in these fundamental concepts. Over time, my paradoxes have challenged thinkers, philosophers, and mathematicians alike. While modern concepts like calculus and limits offer solutions, my paradoxes continue to stimulate thought and debate. As we conclude this journey, remember, I'm Zeno, your friendly neighborhood paradox creator. My paradoxes may have baffled you or even twisted your perception of reality, but that's the joy of diving into the boundless sea of philosophical thought. Remember, the paradoxes are not here to frustrate you, but to help us question, explore, and understand the infinite complexity of the universe. Keep pondering, keep questioning, and most importantly, Keep enjoying the thrilling ride through the cosmos of philosophy and mathematics.
Until next time, farewell and happy thinking. <laughs>